Good morning. My name is Lara. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft in the AI Frameworks team. In AI Frameworks, we have teams working on different aspects of PyTorch. I am part of the PyTorch Onyx team, and we have been contributing to PyTorch to enrich the native Onyx exporter. As many of you may know, Onyx is a format to represent deep learning and machine learning models. It allows to export models from one framework to another, making the step from research to production very flexible. Uh, Onyx also allows running models on some of the best hardware available on the market and improve their runtime. At Microsoft, Onyx Runtime is also getting a lot of attention. Onyx Runtime is a back-end engine that implements the Onyx spec and runs inference on any Onyx model. Um, today, we have billions of requests and hundreds of millions of devices running Onyx Runtime. And we were able to see up to 14.6 times performance gains on some models running on Onyx Runtime compared to their original frameworks. So given these numbers, we have many first-party customers that are betting on Onyx, many of which have chosen PyTorch as their training frameworks. So our mission had been to assist these customers to find any missing feature in the exporter and enable them. Let's look into where the Onyx exporter fits within the PyTorch code base. The Onyx exporter provides a simple API that requires the, the trained model and the sample input. The, on, the export consists in two main steps. The first one is fully orchestrated by the JIT tracer. In this step, we run a JIT trace on the model with the sample input. The second step is downstream from the existing JIT compiler. This is mainly where we have been contributing in the exporter. And in this layer, we use the Torch IR resulted from the JIT trace, and we translate it into an Onyx IR, to which we execute some optimizations to finally get the Onyx file. We have been working with the PyTorch team to improve the exporter for more than a year now, and we have seen a lot of improvements. There are three areas which we aimed to improve. On one side, we worked towards increasing model coverage. And to achieve that, we added missing export support for multiple PyTorch operators. We also worked with many teams who were asking for the ability to support um, custom operators, which we enabled in the exporter. We also added support for exporting models with inputs and outputs of variable length. And finally, we made some updates on Onyx when the Onyx spec did not allow us to represent some uh, PyTorch operators. Also, a priority for Onyx is to uh, maintain the high performance of the models. So we invested on some optimizations, such as constant folding. Lastly, we wanted Onyx to run on multiple backends. And different backends required different versions of Onyx. Previously, with PyTorch, we could only export models to one Onyx version, offset version 9. And uh, since we were working with some customers using WinML that even runs with previous versions of Onyx, we extended the exporter to fully support all offset versions 7, 8, 9, and 10. With all these updates, we were able to enable and improve the performance of multiple production models. Uh, we count multiple speech models and models for things such as clip classification and cognitive services models for tagging images and content moderation and many more. So we have come far, and we still have a lot of uh, projects to improve the exporter. Once, ag once again, we are aiming on increasing model coverage. Uh, for that, we are currently enabling Onyx's latest offset, offset 11, and we will keep on adding with Onyx's new updates. We are also contributing to the Torch Vision repo with the help of the PyTorch team to make the models Onyx exportable. On the other side, we are making it our priority to improve user experience by limiting the number of uh, user code changes required to export models. To achieve that, we are making some improvements on the export of uh, tensor indexing, and we also have some projects involving custom loops for advanced models. So these are our updates for Onyx. I want to take a moment to thank the PyTorch team, especially Lu Fang, uh, Michael Suo, Francisco Massa, and uh, Joe Spisak, and all the people in the PyTorch team who have been helping us and reviewing our work. So please use the exporter, um, try it out, and we would love to hear your feedback and see any contribution in the Onyx export layer. Thank you.